What's going on, everyone? It's time for another film review. We're going to be talking about the newest entry in a, one of the big, more popular horror franchises, Scream. So, so it's Scream 2022. 20, yeah, it's not a remake, it's a reboot. So, yeah. It was released July, uh, January 14th, 2022. Directed by Matt Bettinelli Olfen, who also did like Ready or Not, Radio Silence. Uh, oh, Devil's Do, and then he also did the segment Radio Silence and VHS, and he's also done the Way In, the Way Out segment in Southbound. And it was also co-directed by Tyler Gillett, who also co-directed Ready or Not and Devil's Do, but he also did a few of his own little films, like Phobias and Little Odyssey. Is that a box office earnings of $140 million? And there's a sequel to it, um, sadly, <laughs> in, uh, in the works right now. So, yeah, Scream 2022. A lot of people are saying this movie is good, really violent, and actually one of the better ones. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so... Scream 2022 tries to be meta like the other Scream movies, but in this one, Snab Eats coming out, and it's the first one to come out in a while, and they try to poke fun at that, and more modern movies like It Follows and things like that, and, uh, but as of course, wouldn't you know, a copycat killer is coming, uh, and uh, Ghost Faced is back, killing people, um, in the same town. Officer Doofy's back. You got Miss Sellers or whatever her name is. Uh, the main girl from the first, the last of the all the screen movies. She's back trying to help uh, figure out who this killer is and to bring it to a close. And uh, yeah, so they thought they finished it off, but someone brought back the killing and it keeps going. This one is a little more brutal. I'll give it that. It is a little more gory the attacks and kills and fights are a little more well done and violent and uh that was some good aspect of it but for the most part the characters are quite underdeveloped and really dumb and which is normal in uh these type of movies and uh for uh the most part um they really really <laughs> um slack that and they really kind of try to do twist after twist but it just falls apart when you do that especially if you don't do it correctly like in this one and um yeah but for the most part i the story it was decent enough for a scream movie and uh, as uh they tried to do something different they kind of done the typical same route as the other ones which um it becomes a lot of more back and forth there is some really funny deaths in it at the near the end when you're they're trying to do the back and forth nonsense um but yeah but the main big problem with this is once they reveal who the killer is it's really hard to picture them as a tall hulking killer when they're small skinny and yeah like half the victims are half the hate of them like taller than them and it's like how does that work like it just didn't work out and it took out the realism of the attacks and stuff if it was a full grown crazy man or something doing it it would have been a little more believable but the way they did it it was just like okay there's no way half of these the killer in this that killing scene killing this killing scene and the killer in this killing, killing scene and there's all this one person like it's so unbelievable and out of touch and um yeah and it is way too hard to be metal like the other ones where it could have been done something a little differently and did something its own but instead it follows the tropes of this franchise and where it stumbles is those points that i just said and it doesn't work as well now this is better than like the spiral movie i reviewed not too long ago and uh but for a screen movie it's done fine but i don't know it's not the greatest i did i did like the killing scenes 
Some of them are funny and stupid. Some of them are really well played out. But for the characters and the story, I thought it was just dumb. And I didn't was not into it. And uh, yeah, I had probably outgrown this franchise. Like I liked the first three. Fourth one was okay. I'll review the whole franchise later on down the road. But um, for this one, I think this one's kind of what four, where it's just like why. Why do we have this? Wasn't needed. Don't know why. And, uh, yeah. But um, it was still amusing in a sense. So I'm going to give it a two and a half. Just because it wasn't. There is some pretty funny kills and stupid stuff. But it still made it somewhat entertaining and bearable. So, yeah. I wasn't huge on the new Scream movie. But who knows. If you guys liked it, leave some comments down below. But make sure you check, and if you uh, didn't know that there's a new screen movie out, the trailer's linked down below, like always. Also linked down below with my Instagram, make sure you check out that. That's linked down below. That's where I post my first, uh, that's where I post clips of films I'm going to be in the future on my story. I just have the film title hashtag and something on film hashtag, so you're aware of it. And also make sure you check out the letter, my letterbox down below. That's where I post my first star rating after watching the films as well. So... Follow me on one of those two platforms down the channel. Like this video, share it to more people, whatever. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And if you have any other films or film franchises, or if you want just a review of the best of the screen movies soon, comment those down below too. I'll try to get them as soon as I can, and if I can find them, and I'll review any genre. So don't worry about that. So, yeah. Make sure you uh, subscribe, because hopefully, hopefully we find something weird and scared. And all that you probably never thought of checking out together. And also sharing my opinions on popular films coming out at the time. Classic films and views on other things as well. So make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because uh, I have no idea what I'm going to review next. But um, yeah, we'll be doing some other interesting reviews coming up. I'm trying to change it up quite a bit recently. So we're going to try our best doing that. So probably do a comedy next. So make sure you ring the bell. And um, yeah, but that's it for this one. Watch out for all those stupid imitators trying to imitate popular killers. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.